Unfortunately, I'm getting I'm getting a little tired. I mean, go figure. How long have I been streaming for? Eh, seven hours. Worst part is for me, this happens every once in a while. Face Hello. Me. We're like. I guess I've been drinking. Oh yeah, of course I've been drinking too much today. These guys are chumpsville. Do show. Do show. Do show. I I wish I knew exactly what that word meant, because as it stands, I'm just like, <laughs> I don't know. It's just like, uh, sticky bomb, smoke bomb. Ooh, let's go for the smoke bomb. Sticky bomb Insects seems like it would be kind of fun. Powder creates thick smoke, enough to blind my enemies. I wouldn't say it's mostly done for hundred percent. Yeah, but I don't hundo things. I can, and I have. But I'm just not much of a hundo guy. Quick fire weapon swapping. Oh, that's the. That's how you use that. All right. First, let's resupply on kunai. Supposedly, there's a fox den near here. Oh, there it is. Yeah, might as well. But yeah, I'm just not big on uh, hundoing things. Unless I really had to. I was really hoping I could actually, like, slide down the hill. <clears throat> there it is. On to the shrine. Now, let's see if this breaks my ankles. I think it did. I don't know how by how much though. Now continue to do so. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I'm doing fine. This is gorgeous. Now where the heck am I and where am I going? I guess we're going to Komodo Town. Whether or not I want want to is another thing entirely. Let's hit up that shrine too. There's a bunch of different things. Find Ghost of Tsushima is more like Shadow of Mordor from Lord of the Rings than Breath of the Wild. Oh, absolutely. Breath of the Wild was truly freeform exploration. Shadow of Mordor was much more structured. Personally, I like this a little bit better. Breath of the Wild was glorious. And probably one of the better games I've ever played. But I felt aimless always. Like, you had a couple of things to do, but for the most part, it was just open world and I found that to be <sighs> inconvenient I guess that I I wanted I wanted more specifically like to do in the world as opposed to kind of four dungeony things How the hell do you even... Oh, there's just stairs from below. Well, do we die? Frickin' gone in for it! Got it. Springfall Shrine. How the hell I'm going, going to actually get here, who knows? Yeah, pray for deep water, that's... That was the plan. Worked. Okay, I see stairs over here. <laughs> I 
Is it always the same bird? I don't know, actually. This is pretty. I've never played an open world game like this. Uh huh. Makes me realize how much I wish uh, certain MMOs had just gone with this style instead. Like, what is it with big open world games and being realistic? Like, if you guys noticed that, Far Cry. Uh, I mean, Far Cry is the main one. Assassin's Creed. Maybe they're not the most realistic things ever. But they're very much games that are set kind of in real life. I'm sure there's other ones. I mean, Ghost of Tsushima. Tsushima? I... What other, what other big open world? I, I don't generally touch them. I mean, anything out of Ubisoft. And maybe that's part of it is that it is just like anything out of U Ubisoft. But like, I used to be a big uh, World of Warcraft fan. And I liked it at the time, but I can't help but wish that we got some more, like, Warcraft open world, like, RPGs and stuff instead. Because, like, I don't know, I love this. I love the visuals, I love the design, but I can't help but wish that it was more fantasy -y. Because almost every, like, fantasy game I play, I guess, follows more of the the Dragon Age. Like, de design philosophy, and I, ge I guess maybe that's part of it. It's that they're all trying to kind of follow that, and I guess Witcher? Yeah, but even then, Witcher was fairly realistic. Like, I want some crazy, crazy visual design going on. Oh, uh, I missed it. See, Elder Scrolls Online style, but more magic? I mean, truly, I found ESO to be kind of drab. There's definitely fantasy there, but it's much more traditional, just... Medieval fantasy, as opposed to, like, the ridiculous nonsense that, say, World of Warcraft got up to. And maybe I just kind of miss that specific aesthetic, but... Everything is always so grounded, and I want to see, like, true fantasy nonsense. When did I play at ESO? I played it a little bit at launch, and uh, they also sent us... They sent us a copy of it a while back. Like, a copy of one of the latest expansions, plus some extra stuff. But we just were bored. I'm sure it's good. But it's just like, eh. This is like two years ago, I think. The was the, the last time I played. Charm of the Kami of Water. Yeah, so I'm definitely gonna have to do more of these to get get the actually actual good charms. What's this one do? Uh oh it has to be up here. Parry's perfect parries and perfect dodges are easier to perform. Oh ho -ho! Oh hell yeah. Look at this, though. This is absolutely stunning. Alright. So that's the lighthouse I want to go raid. And then there's Komodo Town. And then there's Breaking My Ankles. I'm pretty sure I can't jump down from this without dying. But I can probably descend the staircase safely, so there's that. Oh, what is this? Oh, just descend shrine. Hey! That, that's a lot easier. Nice get comfy. Alright. So what was the plan? I was heading for Komodo Town. I guess I'm going to continue to do so. Man, this area is gorgeous. 
I don't even remember. I thought we'd been to Komodo Town. Was that where we st Oh! That's where, uh, that's where Yuna nursed us back to health, I think. Right? I think that's the case. And it's just marked, not marked on the map for whatever reason. Probably because it's completely different now. But I figured I'd swing by, see if I could fast travel to this location, or find a fast travel location within the range. Because if this is going to be plot based, then I'd like to come back later. Without having to walk. Or the whole place is burnt at husk. Takeshi Farmstead. Takashiki. It looks like the whole place is messed up. Looks like there are people still here. Sort of. Huh. Doesn't really look like there's anything to actually do. I'm sure I could, like, look around and grab. Hello. Well, I can fast travel to it now, yeah? Hey! That's convenient. I just like finding fast travel locations in these games. It's... It's nice stuff. And we're back here, but that's fine. Oh. It actually wants me to go this way? So it does! I guess I was in a different direction. Okay, yeah, works for me. Let's just go say hi. You look like people to fight. Hello, standoff. Oh good, they're the red armored ones. Also known as the weak ones. Nope, didn't work. Ow. Uh, there he goes. There we go. Oh man, I can already feel that charm is taking effect. That's going to make my life a lot easier. Hello, is there anything good in here? Keep expecting to find like resources in these carts or chests. And then it's a very solid... Nope. Is that my horse? No. That's one of their horses. Well, it's it's gone. Why would I ever ride someone else's horse? Hey, free kunai. I might have actually been one of the kunai I chucked out. I don't know. Hark? A predator. Seriously? <laughs> okay. Not nearly as dangerous as the bear. But also considerably less likely to attack me. Not what I wanted. Okay, this this looks like a moto town. Judging by all the busted banners and so on and so forth. Hello? Wait. Komodo used to be so full of life. Hard to believe you and I survived this. There's actually people still here. I was expecting the the Mongols would have burnt the place down. I believe in a very open concept uh, kingdom. Now, the interesting thing is, we are Lord Sakai. Oh, no, that's the crawl space. If we're Lord Sakai... No, nope. you fool. Cross the gap. All right. Oh, that's it, actually, right there. Wondering about that. Yeah. 
So being Lord Sakai, I know we're from a samurai family. That's a given. How high up are we? Are we like the Lord of the Lands, a minor lord, a bigger... I don't... Not that it matters too much. Oh, hey, bamboo strike. Uh, time for hell. These are worth it, though. But they're still rough. L1, L1, square, L1, X. Okay. L1, L1, square, L1, X, L1, X. Boy. Got it. You just have to get the uh, your fingers in the right motions and you're good. Hey, results increased. Okay. Uh, nope. <sighs> Gotta wait for that to go away to actually pull up the map. Silly UI. Alright. We're good. We're here. I'm sure there's more stuff that I could do in this immediate area, including like side objectives and whatnot, but... <laughs> Is there an easy way for me to ascend? Nope, I guess I'll just go around. And yeah, I think I'm I think I'm gonna stay away from most of my open world nonsense. Let's see, is this Quickly, Sora! This is the right direction. Okay. As much as I like doing open world objectives and whatnot, I think I'm mostly gonna stick to going to major locations like destroy the shipyard and doing all the like fully voice acted side quests. I'll do full completionism if I have to, on my own. Hmm. Could fight those, but I don't need to. Yeah, we don't really mind if you like doing it, though. Sort of. It's definitely one of those where it's like, compared to most of the other series that I, I normally do in stream, uh, this is not a game that performs well on either channel, and so, frustratingly, <laughs> it means I want to finish it faster than not. And maybe it's just also because it's getting later in the day. And people are turning in for bed. I gotta figure out how to optimize these things. I just would hate to drive off, like, the vast majority of my audience uh, by playing a game that they're not interested in. Sup, nerds? Eat kunai! Man, that's easy. I didn't even realize there was an archer there. Their show indeed. What the hell kind of chin beard did that guy have? It was magic looking. Did any of you guys got kunai for me? Nope, but they got supplies. Decent chunks too. We make a good team, don't we? Hey. Okay, so where are we going? This way. Yeah, maybe if I didn't have anything else I'd need to... ...work on. But I was like, I have some free time to play this game. Then I immediately, like, put together my schedule for the week, and I'm like, I don't actually have time to play this. Challenge oh well. Me. Oh, dude, look! They're just the weird trash dudes. Oh wait, no, these are thieves. That's the deal. What's up, nerds? Match me. 
Well, I get wrecked. Gosh, I was like, come at me, and then I tried parrying them, and the answer was, even the better timing windows, I'm still shit. <laughs> he did, in fact, come at me. I I think it's because they are starting to fix... Wow, do they really not set you back at all? I love that. And Mongols are weaker than the thief. It's because I think the thieves have more fake-outs. I could be wrong. I only hunt the noble bear with bombs. There we go. Get a free bomb back. There's my horse. There's my horse. But there's also a bear. Aha! The alternative is inconvenience. Alright, so let's go absolutely wreck this shipyard. Uh, I'll go this direction. It doesn't matter, but like, you can just hear the NPCs screaming in the background. I'm like, I feel bad. And I know that's supposed to be the point. But, like, still. Send your best warrior. Are these gonna be bandits again? Nope. There we go. Alright. I guess that man's just gonna sit there and let it happen. Man, you guys were not prepared for me. Hello? There's another guy. Oh, well. I mean, there's that guy. Free to leave, dude. Whenever you want. Is that it? Okay, so I guess this wasn't the rescue operation that I thought it was going to be. Well, it's fine. I'm heading for the boatyard anyway. Stand and fight me! No. Oh. Hello? Oh. Hello! I might be over leveled for this. Anybody left? What was this? Just like a random lumber camp. Okay. Now can I leave? <laughs> Am I done? Did I win? Good thing there's no Far Cry hide penalty for fragging animals. I always hated that. It wasn't like the worst thing in the world, but it was... I don't know. Far Cry games were so neat, and they're very fun. For like five, ten hours tops, and then then they just keep going, and you're like, why? Like, I'm not gonna, not gonna lie, kind of wish there were like cheaper Far Cry versions that were just like pared down to the essentials. 
and not any of the big open world stuff. But I understand exactly why they do it, because it's so much cheaper to make the rest of the open world. Okay, defeat enemies with headshot, recover banners, eliminate the general. Well. Really trying to practice these perfect parries, and these guys are super easy. But now you can pick up Far Cry 5 for 10 bucks. And it's stupid fun for that time. Oh, very true. I just... I don't know. I played Far Cry 5 when it first came out, and it was like, this is a great game that went actually just too long. It wasn't a great game. It was an interesting game. It was an interesting idea and an interesting execution. I'm not going to be killing guys with headshots, let's be honest here. What's up? You know, I think that's the first time I've found a guy sleeping in a tent. Yeah, too many druggings. Yeah, the way they expressed the story in Far Cry 5 was tragic. Because, like, the idea of it was cool. And I think it would have worked for one of the regions. But every single time it was plot time, they would just rip you out of it. And it's like, oh, come on. Don't do that to me. And it's like, it would have made perfect sense in the, uh, the drug region if they'd kidnap you. But for all the other ones, it's like, no, they, these should not just be scripted. They don't need to be. Why, why did you make them as such? Because it made everything less interesting as a result. Not more. I still haven't played the, uh, the follow-up Far Cry game. I probably should. I've heard it wasn't very good. But it's kind of one of those where it's like, I'm still curious what they did. Oh, I see it was telling me about the banner. That's what it is. Where's Mulan? Dude, Mulan is Chinese, not Japanese. This poor guy was just like, oh yeah, let's respond to friends. Did not work out for him. Okay, is anybody else around here? Well, maybe I'll get one more. I could probably get one more headshot. There we go. I didn't think I could actually get the opportunity. Yeah, I kind of gave up on archery in this. So 
Sup, nerd? Hey, sweet arrows. I am virtually immortal. This makes me very scary. Okay, so where the heck is this banner? Oh, there it is. It's actually just telling me about the banner that I'm supposed to be grabbing. Okay. I'm just gonna finish this up and then I got some mac and cheese. Let me take a look. So what am I doing? Okay, two more banners. Kill the general. I guess I'll head for the ban- Oh, they're on the boats. That would explain a great many things. Did I get him? I guess I did. Sup? I'm on your boat. What you gonna do? And then you. You good, sir. Still don't know where the other banner is. That's okay. Excuse me. What is ready? Come for me. Alright. There we go. Wow. That was fast. A little bit late, dude. A little bit very late. I feel like I'm vastly overleveled for the zone. Dang. Is there... Okay. That's the last banner there. So we good? Or is that just the captain? Oh, no. Destroy the black powder cache. Hello. Oh. There's one more do show. Stop. Uh, can I? There we go. Bam. Right. Stop. I eat fire for breakfast. <laughs> All right, that time it actually hurt me. I think. Nope. <laughs> Didn't see that coming, now did you? And now we're taking a nice nap after blowing ourselves up. This is really pretty. And kind of super cute. That is a nice horse. I kind of don't want to wake him. 